Out here in the middle of the ocean, the tsunami is very predictable. But when it, when it comes onto the shore, the exact shape of the ocean bottom right there at the beach determines what's going to happen. And this, this, is, this is very, uh, you know, it's very different as you, as you go from place to place along the coast. Earthquakes of this size occur in the world every few years. But earthquakes only get in the news when they interact with people. And one of the things we've seen in the last couple of years, we had, uh, of course, the earthquake in Haiti. We just recently had this damaging earthquake in New Zealand. These were relatively small earthquakes compared to the one that happened today. But they did a lot of damage because they occurred right in urban areas. Most of these very large earthquakes occur out in the middle of the ocean. And people don't experience them. And that's why we're surprised by them when they occur in a populated area like Japan or California or New Zealand. And it doesn't take a magnitude eight or nine earthquake to do a lot of damage if it happens right under your city. About 50% of the seismic energy release on the planet occurs here in the Western Pacific. About 25% here in the north and about another 25% here in the south. So most of the seismic activity on the planet is concentrated right here. One, one of the things that, that worries seismologists is here we've had this big earthquake and we know there's a tsunami coming across the Pacific Ocean. We could have a big earthquake out here in the middle of the Aleutians where nobody lives and we could still have a tsunami that comes across the ocean and does damage in Hawaii or California. So this, this is a kind of a, a situation where, yes, it's doing damage locally because it was a big earthquake, and it's possibly doing damage across the Pacific. But uh, we could have a big earthquake in the Aleutians that doesn't really damage much of anything, and yet it, its tsunami could still be dangerous. In the, in the Pacific Basin, we have a tsunami warning system. Uh, because we can locate the earthquakes very quickly. We can determine their potential for creating tsunamis very quickly. The tsunami warning system, if it, if it detects a large earthquake, will, will make a prediction and will, will send out an alert to people all around the basin. The tsunami warning system is working well. When I turned on the news this morning, I saw pictures of people sitting in their cars where they had driven uphill from their houses in California, and they were sitting there patiently waiting for the tsunami to come, and that's exactly what should have happened.